Let me highlight the following critical requirements for realizing the right for development. Unconditional removal of all forms of unjustified and politically motivated sanctions. I call to order the 22nd meeting of the third committee of the 72nd session of the General Assembly. I invite the committee to continue its consideration of agenda item 72, promotion and protection of human rights, sub-items B and C. I am pleased to welcome our distinguished speakers, His Excellency Mr. Samir Akram, Chair Rapporteur of the Working Group on the Right to Development, Mr. Saad Al-Farargi, Special Rapporteur on the Right to Development, I now give the floor to the distinguished representative of Eritrea. I would like to thank the chair, rapporteur of the working group on the right to development and the special rapporteur on the right to development for their presentations. Eritrea supports your work. In 1986, the international community took an important decision to consider development as a right, not merely a growth goal. We recognize that the right to development is a comprehensive and inclusive process through which all human rights are ultimately realized. Nonetheless, three decades after this landmark declaration, billions continue to languish in poverty, the north-south development gap is growing to unacceptable levels, peoples and nations are denied the opportunity to define and implement their economic policies or exercise full sovereignty over their natural resources. We cannot continue to postpone solutions, including the, right, including the development of a Convention on the Right to Development that could assist closer international cooperation to materialize, to materialize their right. Working towards realizing the right to development is not only the moral thing to do, but a smart thing to do. It is unimaginable to achieve global peace, stability, and harmony when billions of our human family are denied their basic needs. Let me highlight the following critical requirements for realizing the right for development. First, eliminating obstacles that impede the full realization of development for billions of people. These include unconditional removal of all forms of unjustified and politically motivated sanctions and coercive measures. Second, timely and full implementation of internationally agreed development goals. Third, transforming global commercial and financial structures to the advantage of the many, including through greater and meaningful representation of developing countries and transparency. Fourth, enhancing genuine international partnership that is based on respect, sovereign equality of nations, and without political or economic policy conditionalities. Eritrea is building solid bases for inclusive and sustainable development with social justice at its center and development that leaves no one behind. Eritrea will continue to work with all countries in order to achieve a fair, non-discriminatory international order enabling growth and development for all nations, as well as to narrow the gaps of global inequality. I thank you. I thank Eritrea.